So these are my three ideas for the Renaissance project. So the first one is a dome, and the second one is a telescope, and the third one is David by Michelangelo. My three are a helicopter, a telescope, and a catapult. My three are a helicopter, a telescope, and David by Michelangelo. Our final design idea was to build the flying machine. And here's the sketch of it. Okay, guys. I'm now gluing on the propeller, the modern day propeller, onto our second prototype. It's burning. Right now, I'm covering the beams with a purple ribbon because before we had we messed up a little bit and we had fabric all around the whole entire thing and it looked really messy, so we decided to take it off. And there were little pieces of fabric everywhere, so to make it look neater, we were, we're now covering it with a purple ribbon. We are now painting the propeller of our second prototype because we thought if the propeller was black, it would look a lot more realistic. And we are now trying to figure out where to place this extra beam for more support. Okay, so this is our first prototype of Leonardo da Vinci's um, sketch, and we're going to test to see what the final product is really capable of withstanding. So, if I were to drop this from a couple of inches, it would stand in the end, but it really does have a wobbly end, like, um, landing. So, also, it's made out of cardboard. The base is made out of cardboard, so it's easily, it's really easy to bend. So it just like doesn't make it have a sturdy base. But our second prototype, this is our second prototype, and we switched out the cardboard base for wood, so it would be a lot sturdier. So when we put this one down, it's a lot more sturdy, and, and it doesn't wobble. Yeah, it doesn't wobble, and it has a flat bottom so she could stand it up standing up so this is our second prototype of Leonardo da Vinci sketch that was made during the Renaissance time so coming into this project we knew that we had to incorporate physical science and we incorporated it by having um, a triangular base that would all lean on each other at the top to support everything physically. And so these are, and at the top, we cut um, triangle, triangle propellers. We have four of them, and they're all glued to the top. And if it was like a real live one or modern day um, helicopters or flying machines, they'd spin in a circular motion that would help lift, it would help force um, the whole mass of the flying helicopter to lift. Our project was based on a sketch that was not physically made during the Renaissance times. Although it was a much advanced sketch for its time, it was not actually built back then. The sketch later helped pave the way for modern day flying machines. <laughs> This is our first prototype inspired by Leonardo da Vinci's sketch during the Renaissance. So it's supposed to be of a flying machine, and so some of our strengths that we think we accomplished with with this um, flying machine was our base and how it it's really sturdy and nothing has fell. And another thing that we thought was good about this one, about our first prototype, <laughs> was how we put the how we put the support beams. Uh, we have one sturdy one in the middle, and then two other ones on the side to to stand it up. And some things, some weaknesses that we had were that um, we think that these were a little too thin, so this is a little bit wobbly on the top, and it, and we could have made our our discs or propellers. Um, a little in a different material because these broke a couple of times. So some improvements we'd make with our next prototype 
would definitely definitely to make these a little bit more sturdy and maybe make a more modern interpretation of a propeller from today's society and also to fix the base and make it a little bit more sturdy to hold up this. <laughs> second prototype of a flying machine and for our second prototype our goal was to make the whole overall look a lot neater and also we swapped out the base of our first prototype for one that was more sturdy so we chose a wooden base instead and we made our supporting beams um, thicker so they would be a lot more supportive as you can see the difference also, we added two more beams just to make sure everything stayed up. Yeah, so it really, so including both of them just really shows that like the influence that Leonardo da Vinci has on like modern day society. And also at first, when we were first working on this second prototype, um, we just were, we covered it all in fabric and it just didn't look um, that really good. So we took it off and and it's just like a lot better now because it's you could see the emphasis of the structural base 